I don't have any questions. Okay. Uh, Tom Dillard. Excellent. <laughs> hey, Dale, uh, talk about the development of Spencer Holstead. You stepped in nicely at that left guard spot, it looks like. Yeah, Spencer uh, has stepped in. He's uh, started uh, last week at uh, Illinois, or two weeks ago, excuse me, and then he uh, played a bunch against Iowa. And, uh, you know, Spencer's credit, Spencer's uh, uh, has thought he should have been starting from the beginning. And, uh, he has proven that uh, he's a uh, valuable commodity. He's uh, been very good so far through two games. I'm glad that he uh, was able to uh, step up and handle it. Dale, talk about that, the right side of your offensive line. Uh, looks like you've got a little four-man rotation going there every couple of series. Uh, just talk about the, who, who came up with that idea and, and how good you think it's working so far. Well, the idea was uh, my and Coach Brown, and we decided you know, we're going to get some guys to play, and uh, that's what we did. So we've got uh, uh, trying to get more guys to play so we can uh, create more depth uh, up front. And as you very well know, uh, everyone does. We're going to need those guys as the year goes on. Uh, the Big Ten football is uh, physical football, and uh, we're trying to get the uh, guys to play and so far we've uh, been able to do that through two games we've had uh, nine or ten guys play in uh, each game and just talk about that depth Dale I think you have played ten linemen and uh, you've been an offensive line coach a long time can you ever recall being part of a team where you played that many linemen through the first two games of a season oh it's been a long time since I had that uh, opportunity to play uh, ten all line like that, you know, we were at uh, Western Kentucky, we were playing them, uh, but that was later on in the game, you know, in the third quarter, fourth quarter, but uh, so far here this uh, year, through two weeks, you know, we've been uh, wanting to get 10 guys in, uh, get some depth so they understand the speed of the game, and that's uh, the key, because once those kids understand what it takes during the game, the speed, the thing, then uh, they'll be that much better. So all the reps they can handle. Uh, during practice, they show what they can do during practice. We'll get them in the game. We'll definitely get them in the game. Hey, Dale, talk about Gus Hartwig a little bit, the true freshman. Uh, I know you and Jeff been really high on the kid. He looks like he's the real deal and and uh, was really pressed into duty at Illinois, and it looks like he did pretty well. Yeah, he played at uh, Iowa. We got him in there. He played a couple series. I uh, held his own. Uh, yeah, he played a lot more at Illinois than uh, anyone was expected. But for a true freshman, uh, he's been very good. Now, with that being said, yeah, he's a freshman. And, uh, you know, he's going to go against guys that are juniors and seniors, older guys. And uh, he's going to have to work and get better every day. Which is part. And uh, that's the Chicago Cubs. Got me. Yeah, it's a reflection of the manager. Really? Wants to see how team plays and like manager. Can you hear me, Dale? Really? I'll go ahead. I'll go ahead and pass. Hey, Thanks, Dale. Mike, Mike, can you please uh, your microphone, please? There we go. Nice. All right. Thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, that's much better. Okay, Tom, were you done? Yeah, we were okay, Dale. Is Gus, is, is Gus the best freshman offensive lineman, true freshman, you've had a chance to work with? The best true freshman offensive lineman I've had a chance to work with. Now you're asking me to go back uh, to 1995, 96. And uh, that's a, a question that I would need uh, off the top of my head. Yeah, Gus would probably be the best one. Uh, yeah, I would say right now, yeah, we could, we could, we could, uh, Argue that. I mean, we could talk about it uh, here. We could argue it somewhere else. Wherever you'd like to talk about it. <laughs> we'll argue about it. We'll go more in depth some other time, Dale. Hey, hey you know that. I'm local here. I get to all the, all the places. I won't uh, name where I go because, you know, I don't know who's a sponsor and who's not. But, uh, you know, I, I, I'll, I'll, we'll talk about it wherever you want. Okay. Hey, Dale, I appreciate it, buddy. Thank you, sir. Hey, thank you. That's all the interview. Oh, we got one more. Oh, one more. Sam, Sam, you got anything for Dale? Yeah, actually, kind of going off of off of Tom there with with Gus, he played one year of high school football and won a state championship. So, did you kind of see that? You know, this is a kid that hasn't played a whole lot of football. He's got a lot of learning to go. 
Um, you know, obviously, um, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, he played more than one year. High yeah, school. yeah, I'm sorry. Um, but I guess just when he came in here, did you kind of see that, you know, here's a kid that, you know, you're, he's going to learn as he goes and uh, just keep getting better and better. Right. He's, he's learned as he goes. And, you know, he, in his mind, he wants to go out there and do it. And for, it's, it is a mindset for a freshman and for anybody. When you run, you got to just put it in your mind that you want to do it. You want to you want to play. You want to be successful. And uh, he has put it through his, in his mind that he wants to play. And he's uh, – Working every day. Is he a finished product? No. Is he going to get trapped in the second round uh, the next year's trapped by the Bears? No. But uh, within time, he'll be a very, very good football player. Here. And uh, right now, he's a good player for us, and he's getting better every day. So I'm happy that he's here. I'm happy he picked Purdue University. Regarding Spencer, he's talked about coming in as a tackle, moved to center, now he's playing guard. Obviously, that kind of dimensional lineman, um, it's great because you can plug those guys in if an injury occurs. But is that something you try to do with a lot of linemen is teach them tackle guard, center, just in case something like this comes up? Yeah, that's correct. I try to uh, recruit uh, guys that can play tackle. And uh, then we say, okay, if you're not a tackle, uh, let's uh, put them at center because everyone needs to learn how to snap. And then the mentality, you know, understanding what's going on, making the call, seeing everything. We can handle that with a dead center. And uh, if not, then we'll put you out of guard. So uh, for Spencer Holstitch, he played tackle in uh, high school. And then I said, now we're going to make you a center. And uh, uh, I forced him in at center. And uh, I wanted him at center because I wanted him to uh, have to be able to communicate and have to make calls. And he's a smart kid. And then now that he knows center, I said, okay, you can go to guard. And to the kid's credit, the kid, says, you know, the kid has believed that he should have been a starter from – Day one last spring, and he said, "Hey, I think I'm a starter." I said, "Okay, you think you're a starter? Go prove it." Well, now he's got his chance, and he's proven it. How big was last year for him? Just red shirting and, and kind of learning on for a whole. Oh, season. tremendous! I mean, yeah, he needed he needed that year, and, and you know, he's a he was in a different stage of his development, and uh, um, uh, he got that year in. Uh, he under he got to play center, got tossed in there, got knocked around, and uh, he's better for it. He's better for it. You know, there's, you, you learn uh, when you're under duress. And at times I'll show you, he thought he was under duress, but he wasn't ever under duress. He just thought, wow, things are happening way too fast. This is going way too fast. Well, it's good for you. Get out there and go play. And he got out there and he played in practice. And then we had spring practice uh, where he got some, uh, where we get seven or eight practices in. And he felt like he should have been a starter. And then we came here in August, came back in great shape. He pushed himself and he wants to do it. He's told his credit, he has pushed himself to become better. What are some of the challenges uh, facing a Northwestern team that, you know, obviously very physical up front, haven't given up a lot of points this season? Um, you know, this, this is going to be a real test for that offensive line. Oh, you're, you're right, it is. They're, they're a physical team. Uh, and you, you have to match physicality with physicality. And we'll, we'll see uh, Saturday night at 730, which group of uh, – Kids place harder. Purdue Boilermakers or the Northwestern Wildcats. It's going to come down to who plays harder. Who plays harder? Who uh, will make the least amount of mistakes? And we'll go from there. And uh, so right now, the kids uh, want to come out Saturday night at 7:30, and they want to play hard. They're looking forward to playing, and we're looking forward to uh, having the game. Thanks, Dale. Hey, see, see you right time. We'll put it good.